Oh, should be good. Um, I'm gonna show you how to edit um, our mod uh, values inside a Xenia Canary Xbox game. Uh, what she engine? Um, so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna link this down in the description, and um, then you're gonna um, do what it says here from. Actually, you know what? I'll just show you. Uh, so you're gonna need Chi Engine. Um, anything above 7.2 uh, will work. So the one I'm using should be the latest, is like 7.4. So if you have anything below 7.2, then download a new version because you will not have these uh, extra custom types here, which you do need. All right. So. Let's see, let's follow what it says to do here. So edit <laughs> settings or options, whatever. Extra custom types from these on. He's always a to take off. Um, every time you restart. Anyways, <laughs> scan settings is here. Turn mem mapped on. So <laughs> emulator memory, this is basically why you need it on this emulator. And Alright, so this should be in settings. And you're gonna look from between this address range to the end of this address range. So copy that, put it right here, which I already have done. Like that. And right now I'm just gonna change values. I'm not gonna uh, change any of the assembly. Unless um unless I feel like I feel like it's safe. Or something I don't know I probably will because uh, changing the assembly of one could mean for the other so for example um, if I if there's so say find the value of this find what's and find the instruction that like if I drop one that instruction pops up and it's like writing to that address if I know off that and just keep dropping this it might not ever um, decrease from inventory, just keep dropping from my hand, but it'll never leave for 12, and then I just, sometimes every item of that branch will use that same instruction, and you can go in here and just throw, throw a bunch of stuff like that, but it would stay at, you know, damn, alright, it would stay like, aw oh crap, that's not what I was saving, but it would stay at its original value, but just keep dropping, so the decrease has no function to actually it from your inventory or whatever. Alright, time, time to stop yapping and actually show you. Okay, so I do know Minecraft. I'm using Minecraft X360 latest time load date. And I do know that um, the value type for the diamonds or, or items, I mean, I thought it would be 2 byte since that was the old Minecraft. Uh, you, you used to be stored in two bytes, or two byte. Uh, but for some reason, in here it's stored in four byte, which is weird. I don't know. Uh, so I look for twelve, and then eleven, and then you see here there's ten. Let's pick that back up. Twelve. So we change this back to. A thousand. You see, we got 64. If I throw that in my inventory now and then pick it up, we can have a thousand diamonds. And if I go here, just make a simple diamond inventory. So I'll look for, you know. Some simple value. As you see, um, now what I wanted to test was what would happen if I edited the memory, like the. This is the So 
we'll search for a uh, new scan. 64. And 63. 62, which is right there. Alright, so this is a value, so. Final access is this address. So we see all these instructions. We pick it up and see. Okay, so we don't see that. Right. So what we'll do is actually. I only saw this one pop up when we decreased it. So hopefully this doesn't crash our game. It probably will. Uh, I, actually, I don't know. It shouldn't. Alright, I didn't. Let's drop. Alright, so. So that didn't do anything. Um, can we stop? Okay. So let's restore. And actually, let's see what rides through real quick. I don't know if it's actually going to. Tripping, like, oh crap! All right, we do that at our end That's why. Stupid. And is that what happens to be at it? Okay, so this might actually be the the better ones. Alright, so you see here, I don't know how that's actually going to, alright, so we'll take, say, diamond apple, okay, that doesn't work, um, it's weird. That works. Uh, they had to be stackable, so I don't know if gaps are actually stackable or not. Stack Alright, so it should be stacked. Okay, so gaps, they had to be actually stacked for Chrono. So basically what this is doing is, let's say this is, this is, this is real game code, okay? This uh, originally would be like Java, uh, actually I don't even know, because, you know, I don't even know. Anyways, this would be like Java, and man, I don't remember my programming knowledge. I don't, I don't remember what Java turns into. I, it just creates this. This is like C++. Let's say, example, this was originally C++ code. That'd be like, um, be like, okay. Oh man. Uh, you know what? I probably should have said the video here. Uh. 